everybody. My name's Megan White. This is S'more. And today we're going to do a really quick ab workout. It's five minutes and it's sort of intermediate based. So people who are a little comfortable with abs and looking for a bit of a challenge today. So let's get going right away with a nice little stretch. I'm going to keep my left leg just as it was when I was cross-legged and move my right leg back. Just thinking of that hip coming towards the boot, or I'm sorry, the heel coming towards the booty and both hips coming down on the mat. If you want a little bit more, you can even guide that left knee down towards the mat. We're just sort of getting into the hip flexors here a bit. Nice stretch. I can even feel this through my side ab a little bit. We're gonna flip, same thing opposite side. This is the only stretch we're doing today because I wanna just get you right to the abs. So um, take a moment to really feel in here if you can and just open up ever so slightly. I know my hip flexors really get a good workout when I do abs, so I always like to stretch them a little bit before I get going. But now let's get going with one of the classic moves, plank. So in plank position, you just think of really grounding through the hands, legs come back, they're also a big part of this. So really engage through the legs. And now once you have a strong plank, we're gonna do a little bit of mobility here. So my left leg is gonna come to my left elbow. I'm gonna shoot it back. I can keep it off the ground. Feel free to drop it back down to the ground if you like. Tuck up through center, back, and then over to the left side and back. Now we'll do that same thing two times, two more times. And so just think of how can I engage my abs even more as I'm going through this. If I crunch up here through center, do I feel it more? Just little tricks to get the most out of it. Go ahead and come back to down dog. We'll stretch it out, walk it out, and then come back for the next side. So here again, now I'm just taking my right leg and crunch up over to the opposite side. Even if you think of moving forward a little bit, really helpful in other forms of yoga too, if we have that sort of comfort with moving as you're in a plank position. And then let that whole thing go. Come down onto our knees. We're gonna swing right around. Come into boat pose. So for boat, booty is on the ground. Feet are gonna come up. And this is boat if you'd like to do it here. Keep your hands grounded or you can come out here. You might find it more challenging as you straighten the legs. So just hold here for a bit and then low boat. Come up to high boat, low boat. High boat, low boat, one last time. High boat, low boat. Let it all go, stretch out. Now we're gonna do flutter kicks. So for me, what I like to do is take my hands, put them at my lower back, and then I'm just gonna flutter. So here, if you'd like a little bit more, head comes up, right? But we're really, Think about going fast, engaging through the abs. This hits our low abs too, which is really nice. And then release, let that go. Now we're gonna do hands to feet. I know we're going through these fast, but you wanna get the most in those five minutes, right? So I'm gonna take my left hand and have it move towards my left foot. Here's the basic move, like so. If you want a little bit more, elevate the right foot up too. So. Both feet are elevated the whole time. We'll do this just a handful more times. And then let that go. Same thing, opposite sides. This time my right leg comes long. I'm gonna keep that left leg elevated, just like I did on the previous side. Feel free to do whatever feels best. And just a handful more. And beautiful. Really, really nice. Now just a couple of baby crunches. So completely straight, legs completely straight. And we're just crunching up baby crunches. So I know this is a little bit different. Maybe you're used to having your knees bent, but this just gives a little different dynamic. Think of chin towards ceiling. So really crunching into those abs. And then one last move, quick hug. Flip over, we're gonna come right back into a plank position, but this time forearm plank. So here, instead of hands, of course, forearms, legs are the same, really engage, and now we're going to shift forward, shift back. 
shift forward, shift back. Even at the gym, sometimes I'll do this with my feet in the TRX machine, or uh, straps, I guess is the better way to put it. It's a really nice way to get into those low abs. And of course, it strengthens the shoulders too. And as you're ready, go ahead, let that go, quick child's pose, and we'll do quick, quick back bends. Because as you know, core is not just the front, it's the back too. So we'll just do two today. First one, I'm gonna do bridge. So lifting the booty up, hands come underneath. Nice stretch through the front body. And then let that go. For my second one, I'm gonna do wheel. Feel free to do bridge again if you'd like. For those who are interested in wheel, hands plant. Really strong through those feet. And we push up. And then think of the chest. I'm moving towards those candles. Really nice. And then let it all go. And that's it, you're done. Go ahead, roll up. Take a nice seat and congratulate yourself. If you do a workout like this a couple times a week, I know you're gonna see a difference in your abs, which can help you in yoga and so many other things too. Thank you so much for your time. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.